today in this video we are going to talk about part 2 of air and water so let's start so what will uh, what is our topic air pressure air pressure can move liquids so how the air pressure can move liquids let's see when you drink liquid from a straw then what happens if you just put the uh, straw in the liquid and in the mouth the liquid will not come in our mouth right we have to suck the air inside it so that the liquid will push upside and come into our mouth the same happens with the injection syringe fountain pen when you put the ink inside the fountain pen right and dropper and lift pump right so now let's talk about the second topic that's water water is a universal solvent what is water a universal solvent it can dissolve many many substances when the river is flowing from a mountain it can dissolve many substances like soil sand animal dung plant wastes right so it becomes very impure water so how can we pure it what are the methods to purify water let's see so first method to purify water is sedimentation sedimentation and decantation so firstly let's talk about sedimentation take a, a water in a glass uh -huh. impure water right and uh, put it undisturbed for some time uh, like shown in the picture right put it undisturbed for some time and up and this process is called sedimentation and when it is settled down take the uh, the glass and put the pure uh, means above water inside of the glass this process of pouring the clean water in other glass jar is called decantation what now let's talk about the second it is called filtration to do it let's see as shown in the picture take a filter paper fold it into half circle and then in the quarter circle and put the three folds at one side and the fourth fold at other side and then keep the filter paper in a funnel and put the funnel in other glass so take the impure water and put it in the funnel what will happen the pure water will come inside the glass and all the impurities will settle down in the filter paper so now let's talk about the third which is called distillation what it is called distillation take some water in a glass jar and dissolve some salt in it what you have to dissolve some salt in it and then what you have to do put that water into the retort and heat the retort and put some cold water upon it and what will happen then the uh, water will get evaporated and condensed in the tube in the retort tube and what will happen the clean and the purest form of water will get inside the other flask and the salt is left behind but you will get the purest form of water and uh, this is used in medicines in what it is used uh, distilled water is used in medicine so now let's talk about the boiling what boiling so if you boil water for uh, 10 to 15 minutes what will happen the uh, germs inside the water will get all killed all the germs will kill and it is fit for drinking now you can use it for drinking yes and filter this water it is fit fit for drinking certain chemicals like chlorine are used to purify water so now let's talk about the rain water rain water is usually pure first two three showers of, of the rain may be not pure because the uh, air is filled with dust and first two three shower will mix with dust and uh, it will be impure water right after two three showers of the rain other water is usually pure right so you have to keep one thing in mind very pure water right distilled water is not at all good for health because it loses all its minerals which are, which are useful for us right so we'll finish our topic here if you love my video please like it share it subscribe it so that you can get my new videos and press the bell icon so that you can get a notification when i upload my new videos so thank you bye bye